Hello, today we are looking at the Bark Rollers Planetary Alignment Watch for 30th of November 2012. The Bark Roller shows a total of 7 planetary alignments on this chart, starting with Neptune, Mars and Saturn, followed by Saturn, Venus and Earth, then Pluto, Sun and Mercury, and Mars, Sun and Mercury. Not one of these four planetary alignments are actually correct. In addition, the bar corolla shows alignments between Mercury, Moon and Jupiter and Venus, Moon and Jupiter. Neither of these alignments are correct either. In fact, only one alignment between Jupiter, Earth and the Sun is almost correct. The bar corolla has missed a true alignment between Earth Mars and Pluto on this date. Remember that this chart is not to scale so true alignments may appear bent. The Barcarola says and I quote, this is extremely busy and I feel that this is without doubt the most dangerous alignment for 2012 and again an 8.5 magnitude event is highly likely based on what I am looking at right here. So let's have a look at each one of these alignments and see if they really are aligned. We will start with Neptune, Mars and Saturn. Here is the same chart drawn properly to scale. As you can see this alignment is out by 45 degrees. Now we look at the bark rollers alignment for Saturn, Venus and Earth. Again this alignment has failed by about 15 degrees. Next we look at Pluto, Sun and Mercury. This one is difficult to show because Pluto is so far out, but as you can see here I've aligned Mercury with the Sun. I'm going to tilt the view edgewise so that we can see uh, Pluto. The red line is actually pointing to Pluto. It's out of view here, but you can see that with Mercury aligned with the Sun here, then obviously it is not in line with Pluto which is way out. I'll, I'll zoom out on this view and you can see Pluto here now. Obviously it's a long way off. We've got Mercury, the Sun and Pluto way off to the side. The next alignment is between Mars, the Sun and Mercury. Again this alignment has failed by several degrees. Please remember that the planet sizes are not to scale and are representative only. Next we look at Mercury, Moon and Jupiter. Again this alignment is out by several degrees. Finally here is the bar rollers alignment for Venus, Moon and Jupiter. This alignment is out by nearly 20 degrees. Only one alignment out of seven is almost correct this alignment between Jupiter, Earth and Sun. If we allow a tolerance of 2 degrees, this alignment is correct on the day before, on the 29th of November. Because the bark roller is not using the charts correctly, he has failed to show this true alignment between Earth, Mars and Pluto. The bark roller has described this date as the most dangerous alignment for 2012 and has predicted a dangerous 8.5 magnitude event to be highly likely based on what he is looking at right here. Yet only one of his alignments are even close and that one ended the day before. There really are no significant planetary alignments for this date. Once again the bar corolla has failed in his use of sim solar charts. As you can see the planets are not as large when their orbits are drawn to scale. Here is the Sun, Earth and Moon when drawn to correct scale. And here is the giant planet Jupiter drawn to correct scale. So I am sure that you can see that it is not possible just to draw straight lines on a chart where the orbits and the planets are not drawn to scale. This concludes my series on why the Bar Corolla's charts are wrong. Thank you for watching.